What is up, everybody? It's your boy AJ Trip. And we're actually on a top 10 video here. Um, with the Major League Baseball League um, 2018 season starting tomorrow. What I wanted to do was I wanted to give my top 10 Cubs and my top 10 White Sox. And, and after some, some consternation and some thought, because I am a Cub fan, not, not, not a Sox fan. I was thinking about whether or not I would actually even do a top 10 White Sox video. You know, because I, because I don't know, you know, the history, like, I, I, or, or, well, I know the history, but I don't, I couldn't get to you in depth like I could in the Cubs. So after, after some, some thought about it, I was like, well, I, sh I should at least do it to have it out here. And then what I, and it, but it just won't be this in-depth thing. I would just give, like, the top 10 list. And maybe on some of the things, on some of the people I know, I'll give you some thoughts on. So here we go. In order, the top ten Chicago White Sox of all time. Number ten, Maglio Dornias. I wanted to put Maglio on this list because I because I think he deserves it. He is definitely known known more for being a Detroit Tiger, but he uh, I think without question he had some great years in Chicago, and I think he you know he you know it was so good and so great. Uh, you know those couple years he was here, and I and I remember, you know, it's kind of funny, you know, because I remember, you know, getting the, the baseball game, uh, whatever it was called, it called triple play or whatever the game EA Sports used to make, baseball game EA Sports used to make. I would get it, and then I would create myself and put myself on the White Sox, you know, which is kind of interesting, and you know, and and I have that I'd be there with Maglio and Big Frank and everybody. So, um, obviously, now when I, when I get a game, I actually, right now I get Major League Baseball to show, loaded up, ready to play, came out early. Um, I always put myself on the Cubs, because I'm a Cubs fan now. But, yeah, I, back in the day, I used to put myself on the White Sox, and I loved Matt Leo Dornier. I loved that little, that little crazy stance he had where the, his front foot was almost in front of his back foot. And I thought, how did he hit like that? But he did, and he was he was incredible. So I think he deserves to be on this list. Number ten, man, Leo Donieres. Number nine, Billy Pierce. Retired numbers retired. I thought he deserved to be on this list. Number eight, Nelly Fox. Again, I thought he, again he deserved to be on this list. I think this is one of the lists that I went through, and yeah, I, I, I saw a lot of. I went to you no, know, there's not a lot of Hall of Famers. From the White Sox, but definitely they have a lot of retired numbers, so that's what, that's what basically I kind of based my list on. Number seven was Louis Aparicio. Number six was Carlton Fisk. Again, you're talking about somebody who was probably known for more with being a Boston Red Sox and a Chicago White Sox, but again, I thought that he should have been on this list, and he he got a statue of him. You know, at uh, at uh, at Sox Park, uh, the rate as it's now called, the number is retired. So, without question, called the fifth thing deserved to be on here. Number five, Mark Burley, and I think this to me was a no-brainer. Mark Burley, the best pitcher in in, in, in in White Sox history, without question. And, you know, he's one of the few pitchers to have a a a a a a, a perfect game. And a no hitter, and it's kind of crazy too because he's he's not a like strikeout pitcher. He's a soft tosser, so you wouldn't think that he would have, you know, that type of stuff, you know, to be able to no hit te uh, teams. But he did, and he had lots of little help from his defense and Dwayne Wise and everything. But it, it was incredible, Mark Burley. Without question, deserves to be in on the list of the top ten White Sox of all time. So what is this guy number four? Paul Paul Konerko was incredible, man. I thought he was he was definitely a player. Played the majority of his career with the White Sox. He was a fantastic player. Um, number is retired. Did great things for the organization for the city of Chicago. Without question, remember he had in the in game two he had the grand slam. Uh, in, uh, to tie it up uh, against the Houston Astros. Um, so yeah, it was just it was incredible. Without question, one of the all-time Chicago White Sox, Paul Kinnerko.
Number three, Mini Minoso. Number two is Harold Baines. He played for a few other teams, but he's also played for the White Sox. And I think he is more than deserving to be worthy of being not only on this list, but being the number two Chicago White Sox player of all time, according to me, is his Harold Baines, without question. But of course, the number one is the big hurt, Frank Thomas. You're talking about a guy who is in the Hall of Fame. He was a two-time AL a- 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 Major League you know, the most valuable player. Um, four times Silver Sugger, Sugger Award. He won a batting title. He was a five time All Star. His his record, I mean his his stats with the White Sox, incredible. Four hundred and forty eight home runs of fourteen hundred RBIs. His batting average, his slash line, look at this, three oh seven, four twenty seven, fifty five sixty eight. OPS of 995. He almost has an OPS of a full point. Incredible. And some of you think he could have, he should have a another MVP because in 2001 it was given to uh, 2000 I guess it was given to uh, Jason Giambi and that and, you know, and that was the year that uh, uh, apparently he he was allegedly doing steroids so. Um, some of you think he should have that year as well, but man, he was without question one of the great players of all time. You know, it, it was us. It, it was. It, it was. I did watch him, and it was fun to watch him, and I did root for him. I, you know, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a Cub fan because of, of the Sosa McGuire uh, thing and thing like that. But for the long, for the longest time, I did really watch for. I did watch baseball. I did watch both teams. I did watch the White Sox, and I was, like I said, I enjoyed Mario Dunez and, and and Paul Canerco and and Frank Thomas, especially early in the, in his in his career when they were battling Toronto for you know chances to go to the to the World Series. So definitely enjoyed Frank Thomas, and without question, he is a top ten White Sox player of all time. Number one player of all time is Frank Thomas. All right, so now I reach out to you guys. Maybe to the real Sox fans out there, you guys need to correct me on my list. You know, do I have people in the right spots? Let me know. You know, am I missing somebody? I, I think I get pretty much get everybody. Just some people know on this list, some people don't. So yeah, without question, White Sox fans and baseball fans all around, give me your opinions. Post down in the comment section. Like I said, I'm not a big Sox. I'm not, I, I'm not a Sox fan at all. So. You guys got to let me know about this. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Tripp signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. I am out. Enjoy opening day tomorrow.